Yes, now welcome back everybody to God of War Ragnarok. So it's been a while since I've played. I should say that I was kind of getting bored at playing it, and that's probably a count to me playing this thing so many times that I've gotten bored to it. So now I've been thinking, and I'm not entirely sure what to stream after this one. What to, like, make. I'm stuck between should I take a game that I would actually want to play again? Or should I take a game that will be quick? And I can't quite figure out which one I should do. If I take a game that I want to play again, then honestly it's going to be similar to GTA. Or it's probably going to be one of the Spider-Man games I have, because I do kind of want to play one of them again. But if I play a game that is short, I think I have like two, three, three of them. So, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. Get rid of that there. There we go. I can hear the little bastard. you to help those in need? What of it? You should trust that you've influenced him in turn. She is right about that. Still more of you. Bastards are that I get lost. Oh, that's why I keep coming out of this entire nest of you. We're now going to see. I think. Maybe third or fourth? One of the biggest creatures in the game. Or third. I haven't seen one since I was a child. Great Gefune's ghost! That's the largest bloody half you I've ever laid eyes on. That's howling. It sounds familiar. It's the song of the sands. They don't normally sing like this underground. That must be the cause of the storm. Aye. Judging by all this hive matter weighing it down, it's been trapped here for dozens of winters. There must be a way to cut it loose. 
I'd wager that there's nothing here a well placed throw the axe can't solve. Very much. We can clear those rocks away. We might get the right angle. of the hive matter is gone. We can free it from the surface now. Uh, let's get going, shall we? Just huh? yes, checking. They capture such a large one. Hafkafas are known to burrow, so I'd hesitate to place full blame on our dark elf friends. Even though it's bound by their hive? Hive matter doesn't belong to the Dark Elves, any more than the light belongs to the Light Elves. It's just another of Alfheim's natural resources, one the Elves have used since the time of their ancestors. And while the Light Elves seem keen to banish the Hive over on their side, the Dark Elves make effective use of it out here in the Barrens. But if this is true, are we doing more harm than good by destroying this Hive? You wish to leave the creature enslaved? No, Something down, yeah. I would appreciate our efforts to ease the harshness of these lands. We should free it. I wish you can get like a up second upgrade version of the runic attacks when you go get those Too late to avoid my mistakes. Your son must walk his own path, but you can still guide him. And I will help you, however I can, for his sake. Thank you. Well, nice to be able to have a real conversation out here for once. Yeah, I'm way too far for that bastard to be killed. I suspect you've got some new sword helps in your future. <clears throat> yeah, when you get that final sword hilt schematics, then you can basically get like a bunch of different sword hilts. And they all have different purposes, so...
there's really quite a lot of them. So yeah. If you haven't gotten the one I have, I really recommend you use one of the other hilts because some of them can be pretty damn useful. Makes quite a distinctive sound. And for the record, no, you can't kill him. Bit hard to reach. I think I might know where this one is. I think it's like there on the top. Yeah, there it is. Of course. Um, where the... Uh, I, <laughs> I needed to be on the other side. Um, not yet. Around here. There we go. Yeah, if you start running around on the sand, the dogs will actually follow you until you go, like, on top of one of the little islands. So, yeah. And bada bing, bada boom. Go there next. Freya, you once survived a giant's corpse to a uh, stop a certain fight. <laughs> we'll talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. Brick. Treasure.
I'm sorry, but how the fuck does he climb that? Now, apparently, I've never found all of Gravasier's poems before. Because, apparently, if you do find all of his poems, you get a reward. It feels like I'm missing something. Oh, well. Brother, you don't like riddles, eh? No. Oh, you just haven't heard any good ones. Yeah. I'm tall when I'm young, short when I'm old. What A candle. Yeah. Heard that one before? No. Oh. Well, did you like it? No. <laughs> Poor Mamir. All right. Um. Uh, right. And one of these little bastards. I think this is the twins. Yeah, those uh, should be the twins. The two sisters. Damn annoying. Very strong. And I remember doing this thing like countless times over and over and over until I got so sick and tired of it that I changed the easiest sitting just to fucking finish the damn thing. Why was Freya so revered here so quickly upon his first arrival? Well, to begin with, it wasn't his first arrival. Very few know this, but Freyr was one of the earliest visitors to Alfheim, back in the dawn of realm travel. Old. What is that? A gravestone. No doubt a berserker awaits. Yep. And these two ain't fun. Sorry. Before we continue... Um, let's quickly see what's this. It's gonna take way too long. Nope, this one. And this is the finger of rune, it's gonna take way too long. It's damage is pretty impressive, so is the stun. Don't have enough to upgrade it though. Stun is not good enough, and that's actually what you need when you fight these bastards. Oh, these are triplets, not twins. Ow. You kind of want to kill this one first, because those two are one. I'm gonna kill you quickly as possible. See how far we get. Oh, there goes the first one. Now these two are like going to get even stronger. Wait, what? This was so much easier this time around. What the hell? What is its connection to these spirits? It's a symbol of their betrayal, their cruelty. What the fuck? The sooner we are done with it, the better. I'm sorry. My blades. This was extremely easy this time around. Uh, just for the record, um, settings. Gameplay, give me balance. It's still on balance. 
The last time I struggled my ass off doing this on Grace. What the fuck? Is it because my weapons have been upgraded like further than before? Or is it because my equipment is much better now? What the fuck? Okay, well, I'm happy about that, but still, bloody hell. I was expecting much, much worse. Okay then. Ugh. Map. Okay, this is the entrance to the below. It's the way out. We'll go there next, but we'll follow around the edges because it's usually the edges where is the things are. <laughs> yeah, see, like this. Another one. And then you stand here and... Man. Yeah, bastard. Are they taking pity on me now? Fuck off. Come on. There we go. When the one went black, I thought they were taking pity on me. Earlier you mentioned that Freer was one of Alfheim's first visitors. Care to elaborate? I wasn't in these lands at the dawn of realm travel. Well, we believed for a long time that the all entrance. the giants had died in the flood. Until one of them appeared in Vanaheim. Her name was Gerd, and she came offering to teach us the secrets of traveling between realms using Bifrost light. Freyr became immediately a I'll let them finish the story before I get off. He always yearned to wander, and along came someone who could truly show him how. So, wander they did, exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerd to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he... wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious. I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Old. We will finish later. All right. Sort of a Another hum. tribute. I can play beautifully, you know. I do not. I would prefer it remain that way. Right. <laughs> Damn it. Sometimes it's all about the angles. <clears throat> You'd think there'd be more here, but no. Ah. 
somewhere out there there's a riddle you'd enjoy. I'm going to find it. Do not. Once spoken, instantly broken. What am I? Silence. Correct! I was not answering the riddle. Crap on me. Freya, where the actual hell are you stuck at at the moment? Buzz off, I'm not here for you. Most of the time, fucking down here doing who knows what. Come on, man. Get it, it, it is. One a dragon and one a pair of lions that haven't been fed in weeks. Which door do you open? Hmm. The first. The pit of spikes is easily avoided. Ah, you should pick the third because lions that haven't been fed in weeks would be dead. Eh? Hmm. I like this riddle. <laughs> <laughs> Blazons, do I do this one again? Right. talking about in particular giving up your body do i regret exchanging my life for my freedom that's a question i ask myself every day my lady what about today today glad to be out in the world how else could i spend such quality time with you <laughs> okay okay much of the sand has been cleared away but another storm rages beyond that pass which must mean another half you far Ding 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 ding. Ah, oh, it looks as though the light elves sealed off this section of the barrens. Why? Luckily for us, a very considerate goddess has enhanced our magic chisel, and we can unseal it. My, that is lucky. The forbidden sands lay beyond. Contested territory, according to Bela, and another storm to endure. I remember when Freya and I traveled to this realm as children. The desert was healthy and full of life back then. I can't help but fear that era has ended for good and our efforts here are futile. It's a fair concern. Healing this land will take more than a pair of singing hafifa. But I have to believe in the long run, we're doing right by Alpine. Well... Best we start looking for a way underground. 
Yeah, we'll get to that soon enough. Wait, I'm sorry. Another one. Well, great. Just great. As long as it sounds started. The other hot goofa must be under there. Yep. There we go. I see an entrance. I hope Freyr will appreciate our work here in the desert. I wonder if he knows how poorly this realm has fared in his absence. Aye. Hearing the Song of the Sands again is a rare privilege. Even if it's only a solo act. Or a duet, once this Hopgoofa is free. This architecture... It is not of the Dark Elves. An abandoned ancient settlement, by the looks of it. Built long before the Lightwell's creation. Oh, I've never this is the way we come back from. We're on the right track then. No health? That sucks. I don't know why why they did this because you can now go down there but you can still go down here like what's the reason you can easily just jump down from jump across from there again so why did they do that doesn't make any sense <clears throat> When I last came here with you and Atreus, I assumed the existence of all time life was an aberration. I didn't realize it was covered by a hive mother. Aye, and as far as the Dark Elves are concerned, it's that light column in the center of the temple that's the aberration. Just look at how old some of these surfaces are. Far older than the light well, or even our trapped half giver for that matter. That's quite the empathetic perspective, Mimir. Well, dangle from a burly god's backside for a few winters, and you'll find yourself looking for all sorts of new perspectives. Hmm. <laughs> burly god, eh? Damn it, I was hoping I could get that quickly enough. Yeah, before I go fight the next Berserker, I should probably find Brock or Sindri and try to get myself a uh, near resurrection star. Do 
Inventory changes hands often in Alfheim, or so it appears. Big Vier did mention that these ruins have historical significance for the Light Elves. I assume they're only here to keep intruders out. Well, at least they tried. I suspect the corpse below would disagree. Sacrifice. What are you looking at? Okay then. Let's continue, shall we? And for the record, there's nothing that way. In case some of you might be wondering. will allow them to breed again. It was a dazzling display once. The skies of Alfheim filled with their song. I imagine it's the lack of fresh light that's caused this pair to grow abnormally large. Mm. No use in having babies if there's nothing for them to feed on. Trying to protect their children from a harsh world. I can relate. We're not leaving just yet. We still have to kill that stupid dog. And no, you can't kill it from here because it's gonna see it coming. You're damn annoying, you know that. Shut up. See, like this, this would have given a runic attack or a relic. They should have made it so that you can get, like, much, much stronger versions of the old runic attacks. For instance, let's take the one I like the most in the light runic attack with the axe. This thing, Scotty's Edge. Instead of just, let's say, 10 shots, it can go for around 20. Or you can upgrade in a certain way that it activates realm shift, 
and then while this realm shift is activated, it'll continuously stay activated until you either call the axe back or until all 10 of the hits have been fulfilled. Imagine the amount of damage you can do in that time. The axe will still move like, not normally, but let's say 0 0.5 times slower. So basically half, half its speed. Which will give you, let's say every hit takes a second. You get 10 seconds, take that in half, you get now 20 seconds before this thing runs out that I miss. Okay, like I was saying, you get 20 seconds of realm shift. Okay, actually, yeah, that's a lot. Let's say 5 seconds for the entire thing. So 10 seconds basically of realm shift. Imagine the amount of damage you can do. In order to breed, they must pass on their light to their children. And without light, they will die. Mm. I suppose that's all any of us can hope for in the end. That our death has purpose. That we can live on through our children. Given another chance, I know what choice I will make. And no, you cannot injure it. See? Bounces off. Take your gas and suck it up. My airbound's about to shut down. A pipe. Used in many of Freyr's blessings, I imagine. And I'm back. Sorry, my headphones died. So the blacksmith used the flame. Kratos, is this a story meant to ease my grief? Perhaps it is just a story. A way to pass the time. I appreciate the sentiment, but... Well, your stories... What about my stories? I wouldn't exactly call them a comfort. Fair. Mamir is the better storyteller. Now don't tell yourself short, brother. You've come a long way from the days of laconic fables. It's okay. Can be higher. Finish your story, Kratos. The blacksmith's daughter was the key to unlocking the box. He died trying to protect her from those who opened it. Well, at least it's a relatable story. 
What he did not say is that I was the one that ended up killing the blacksmith. Uh, that's one too far. There we go. Something he also didn't say is that even though the blacksmith died trying to protect her, she still ended up dying because of my own foolishness. So it appears we've overstayed our welcome in our time. Time to end this storm. of the sands. Comfy here by stores and no comfort. Take solace in knowing you did what you thought was best for your son's safety. Even these creatures know there is little choice for a parent. You are not alone. <sighs> I'm not, am I? And now neither are they. Notice how the stars are moving. I don't find what's beautiful about it, but all right. Thank you, Kratos. This land sings once more. We've done good here. And they are dead. No rush to leave yet, is there? Who knows what kind of adventures await us in a freshly lit barrens? Now there's thousands of these small little bastards. Well, maybe not thousands, but at least hundreds. Come on, beat your head up for me again. Sent to the tree of the dead. Perhaps we should check up on it. Hmm? Statue of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it serves as a monument, one that symbolizes the potential for peace. This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what he is. 
this man and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. I should have just Jack gone down by the other side. Sister to marry a madman. This one. It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well lit marble. Leave that one, you don't need it. Normally, we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could shed some light on this mystery. <laughs> Freya did not like that one. Like we can read the inscription now as well. Notice the sword he has. Doesn't it look awfully familiar. The light from the crystals. It is in the sand now. Would you look at that? Freya's gift endures after all. Or should I say his presence? You are not funny. <laughs> I could not imagine a life of peace after her death. In okay, like, what the fuck, Rhea? Yeah. I found peace on my own. It remains my responsibility to make it last. Perhaps the elves Oops. will find peace again one day. Sorry, um... Even without Freya's guidance. His presence continues to guide them, whether they realize it or not. <laughs> Hello. Oh, I felt that one, brother. I don't think I have the key for that door yet. Locked. Yeah, no, I don't. Not yet. It requires two keys. What are they keeping back there? That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. No, in our luck, it'll be a bit of both. Better both than an understatement. A badge of honor. The elves made a few One more needed, eh? Did that one just revive himself?
I don't think there is a workshop here, so I'm gonna have to come back here first before I'm gonna do this guy. I guess we'll go to the gate and then afterwards we can go to the gate. A light elf statue in the desert. Odd. Aye. Okay, so I am going to go to Brock and Sindri's and then that door required two keys. so it did. Let's keep looking then. Okay, like I was saying, I am going to go to Sindri, I believe, is the one that's here. Then, once I am done there, I will come back here and I'll continue to be Rhea, there. Will you but I'll. That story about your brother? He stumbled into uh, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just leave it as is. Essentially so. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division. Remembered. Let me just mark this. Light and dark elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. Let this wait. Stay alert. Please finish the story of your brother. He stumbled into Alpine, became a legend, and returned ages later to bring peace. That's correct. And both sides trusted him. Set that aside for now. Come. <laughs> Keep interrupting every time the one we <laughs> give you. They're just gonna begin that I'm gonna be here. <laughs> okay, I will end the video here. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Please leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.